guys, you know what to do. It's that Beasy Boys here to coming at you guys the video today. In this video, I'm reviewing Big Brother weeks four and five. Now, I don't seem excited. I don't seem pumped. You know why? Because I filmed this video twice before, and I keep messing up. So, you know what? I'm going to get it right this time. So, um, no, actually three and four. Sorry, weeks three and four. So, um, no, four and five. Austin and Vanessa win the head of household the gronk pong thing kind of like beer pong with a giant version vanessa who does vanessa nominate um vanessa nominates james and john and austin nominates jason and meg jason and meg win veto johnny mac throws it you know johnny mac the throw king johnny mac just throws competition after competition after competition i feel like johnny mac is honestly being stepped on and he's such a pushover i'm sick of johnny mac i am honestly but that guy guess who pulls it out guess who pulls the veto out johnny mac he doesn't throw them vetoes it was actually um remember um the sole head of household is vanessa at this point and um Johnny Mac is just um pushing. It's the rolling dice competition from last season. You know what I'm talking about? Where you have to go out of the box and then come back into your square with a cert with a certain number of of dice on the top of your square. Yeah, that competition. Johnny Mac wins it in the final round to Austin. Um, and that's upset at Austin because she thinks that he threw it, but in reality, Austin actually sucked at this competition. Um. Austin um is in the six cents alliance with Liz, Julia, Vanessa, who else? Shelly and Clay. But then Austin, even though he's looking out for his alliance, he also has his own personal vendetta. So you know what happens? He wants Jeff out. He's really just targeting him. And I really don't think Jeff was honestly, except for the moment that they had mistrust with Audrey that they plant that she planted seeds in their head. So you know what happened? Austin made up some lies about Jeff and twisted some things that he said around so that when Johnny Mac comes up the block with that veto, obviously Johnny Mac's not gonna be an idiot and now he's the veto on himself. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? Jeff's gonna go up. And it went right according to plan. Vanessa got steamed up and upset like she always does. I don't like Vanessa. Everybody's saying, oh my god, Vanessa, the girl versus the Derek. No, no, no. Derek's 10 times better than Vanessa. 10 times better. So then I think a 7 to 4 vote. Jeff is evicted next to James. So then week four, Liz, no, sorry, week five, Liz and Shelly win head of household competition. And um, it was a 90s themed dance thing, and they had to remember what um happened in the dance and certain little details. Shelly and Liz won. Um, who did Liz put up? Jack Liz put up Jackie and James. And... Liz put up Jackie and James, and Shelly put up Jason and John. Um, she didn't want John to throw it this time. She actually honestly didn't because she wanted to play next with HOH, and she knew that if Liz stayed HOH, she was 100% safe. So then you know what happens. Liz gets to join at HOH because Johnny Mac loses a comp, a battle of the black comp. Not on purpose, guys. Not on purpose. And you know who comes away with the veto in this competition? It's that um chemical reaction veto where if you um it's a uh, when you look at all the pictures and stuff like that in a certain order and and they ask you something about it and then you pour in the color that they ask and then if you're wrong it blows up in your face. And I always loved that competition from last season. I thought it was a hilarious competition. It's funny to watch. To see the house kids get blown up and stuff like that. Um, Vanessa won the competition. No paint for Vanessa. Um, that's a good thing. Um, I don't like Vanessa, but she used the veto. She used the veto. Because you know why? She used it on Jason. Because Audrey is is telling James and stuff like that that they want to target Shelly and Clay. 
I want Audrey gone, but what are you doing? Like, that's so dumb. Why would you do something like that? The only people in the house that want to protect you, why would you want to go after them? A whole house is coming after you. A whole house is gunning for you. And the two people that, that are trying to keep you safe, you want to go after them. That makes no sense. So you know what? Um, Shelly and Clay find out about it. They don't want to make the move. Clay wants to make the move. Clay's cutthroat. Shelly's too nice. She doesn't want to make the move. And I totally get that. But, um, you know, it's a game. It's a game. And you got to make game decisions that you wouldn't make in your personal life. So you know what happens? Vanessa uses the veto on Jason. Not not that they want Johnny Matt to go home or anything like that. But they know that Audrey can't say something, anything against Johnny Matt to persuade people or sway people for votes. They know that um you can say things against Jason because Jason is legitimately good at competitions. So then Audrey gets evicted from the house on a... I think uh, t nine to one vote with one penalty vote because um James made her an omelet, and then she ate it. Pfft, James, you knew someone was gonna flip. James, you're the man. Give me a pound for that. But um, honestly, James, I I'm honestly I'm being honest. James probably had no intention of trying to get her a penalty vote. He just. So, um, cause she got a penalty vote because she was on slot when she ate the omelet and stuff. And she, and he felt really honestly bad for her because like she was alone in the room and she felt bad, but nobody was honestly personally treating her bad. Um, I don't get why she just wanted to be away from everybody like that. And then, so when Audrey gets evicted, um, but, and Audrey didn't show up for the veto ceremony. That's the crazy thing. She didn't show up. That's the first time that someone hasn't showed up for the veto ceremony. And I was thinking, is she even going to show up for this eviction? And she did. Um, we're in the same exact outfit that she came in the house with. And, um, yeah. And then when she gets evicted, it was sketchy. You know why it was sketchy? Because they didn't reveal anything or tell her that Austin was the vote to keep her in. Well, Judas. Judas. And, um, they didn't reveal the twin twist to her either. So that's making me think, are they going to rig it for her to come back in or something? And if she is the question right now, like, if you're going to let her come back in, don't make it that obvious. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and as always, till tomorrow, you know what to do. I tell you every time, I tell you every video, you know what it is, you know the dealio.